In this example, we want to find the number of terms such that the residual is going to be less than or equal to 0.001 for the given series there. Okay, so we we can uh, we can be easily shown that the residual that the first term that the residual for let's say a, a, a finite number of terms is or can be bounded by the improper integral okay of the corresponding function for the series okay so so then what we need to do we need to calculate the integral and then from there we can we can go ahead and set up our inequality okay All right, so let's go ahead and find the integral okay from n to infinity of 1 over x to the fourth okay so this is an improper integral so we're going to write this as the limit as b goes to infinity from n to b okay of 1 over x to the fourth okay so solving this integral okay we're going to have okay so this is just x to the negative 4 so we we use the power rule for integration so that's going to give us minus 1 over 3 x cubed and we're going from n to b okay so now taking the limit of this as b goes infinity so we're going to have minus 1 over 3b cubed plus 1 over 3 n to the power 3 okay so uh, this as b goes to infinity, this part is going to go to zero. And so that means we're left with one over three n cubed. Okay. So okay, so now we're going to bound this. Okay, so in other in order to find the number of terms needed for this residual, uh, we need to take this term, one over three to the n cubed, uh, this result, and then bound it. With the residual value that we're given okay so we're going to have okay 1 over 3 n cubed less than or equal to our residual 0 0.001 okay so we set it up this way because we want to end up getting an expression with n bigger or equal to some number okay all right so now we have to basically solve this Okay, for n. Okay, so so this is the same as okay. We can flip both sides. Okay, so this is going to be three n cubed. Okay, less than or equal to one thousand. Okay, so just flipping the flipping both sides and changing the inequality sign, which is okay. So okay. So now just divide by three. Okay. And so now we're going to take the cube root of both sides. So that's going to leave us with this. So that means we're going to have, okay. So n, right? So this is approximately 6.93. So that means n. Uh, so here, n, remember, n is the it's it's a finite number, right? So, or it's a it's an integer, okay? So that means n has to be strictly, right? It has to be bigger than seven, okay? Or less than or equal to seven, yeah. Or sorry, greater than or equal to seven, okay? So that means the that means seven is the minimum amount of terms we need to achieve this uh, residual, okay? Anything higher than seven will give us a smaller residual, okay? So we need at least seven terms, okay? So that means we need at least seven terms to get, if we take the uh, series, if we take the sum from one to seven, and we calculate that, and if we take the difference between that result with the actual sum, then the error will be smaller than 0 0.001, okay? So that's what this result means. Okay.
but just to clarify. So that means we have s minus s of 7. Okay, so that's going to be less than or equal to, actually it'll be strictly less than, than the residual that we had, which was 0 .001. Okay. All right. So that's that's what this implies. Okay. And again, if we increase n as we increase the number of partials, this difference here, uh, the difference will get smaller and smaller. Okay.